Tonight, the family of an eight year old girl says their daughter was kicked out of class because of the smell of her hair. The honor student attends Thurgood Marshall Elementary in Seattle. King 5's Tanya Mosley joins us live at the school with the details and why the NAACP is involved. Tanya? Jean, the NAACP says this has less to do about hair and more to do about the way this whole situation was handled. This eight year old biracial girl has been wearing this olive oil moisturizing lotion on her hair for the past year, but it wasn't until about two weeks ago that the teacher removed the girl from the class and told her she might be allergic to it. Thank you for coming. Bell and Drake still can't believe she's here at a news conference with the NAACP. Fighting to get her eight year old daughter back into honors classes, all because of hair moisturizer. I couldn't comprehend it. Um, you know, I was really just trying to make sense of it, and uh, that took a while. Bellin says late last month, a teacher pulled her daughter out of class at Thurgood Marshall Elementary and into the hallway. My daughter reports that she kept just saying she was afraid, and it's your hair, and that she could go back in to get her work and then go to the other class for the rest of the day. She says the school never contacted her about it, but instead permanently removed the girl from her honors classes to a regular classroom. This is about the conduct of an adult, and that would be the teacher, and the ratification of that conduct by the principal. Good morning, good hair salon. It was the talk of the salon at Good Hair in Seattle. Stylist Danielle Thomas says singling out a biracial child about her hair in front of her peers is damaging. It just seems like with adults and especially in the school system that they'd be more open to the diversity and how we culturally are different and the need to approach it and such. The district will only say we're concerned and we're looking into it. Our priority is to get the child back into school. Bellin says all she's asking for is a meeting with the district and a chance for her daughter to return to school. Every day she is asking when she's going back to school. Now, earlier in the school year, the parents were notified that this teacher had allergies. The NAACP plans to file a formal complaint with the U.S. Department of Education. Reporting live in Seattle, Tanya Mosley, King 5 News. Thank you, Tanya.